That deer you saw walking down my street, he's been coming by there about every day around 2.30 in the afternoon when he's out for his walk. Not very often you see the deer right in our street, but <laughs> this guy seems to like it. Okay, I'm going to be down at Island View Beach today. A few things I want to check in on. Remember I was back in May I was down here, was the last time I was down here? And I was down looking at the campsite and it looked like they were expanding it. I'm going to check that out. There should be campers down there now. And if we've got a beautiful day going for us today, we're going through a real hot spell for like the last four or five days. One more day left, I believe, before it's supposed to cool off a little bit, but it's just been really, really warm for Victoria. So we're gonna go for a walk down, check out the beach. There should be lots of people been down here the last few days because of the heat. And I imagine there's all kinds of neat structures to look at that the kids have been making. So uh, yeah, <laughs> let's, go, let's go have a look around, see uh, how Island View Beach is these days. Let's go, you coming with me? All right, let's go. We have also hardly had any wind the last few days. I've never seen it so still at my house for like three days in a row. Absolutely nothing moving. So the heat just builds up during the day. and We're up to 33 degrees. I'll put the Fahrenheit there. Uh, the last few days in the house has been unbearable. Luckily we have an air conditioner, but it, it even couldn't even keep up last night of what we had uh, going on out there. This is where we are. There should be lots of people hanging around here shortly. It's 8.30 in the morning, so I'm a little bit early, but uh, we'll go down the beach and see what it looks like. Yep, they've got structures down here. They've been busy building stuff. That's kind of neat. Look at that ocean this morning. Just beautiful. Well, now we'll just head down by where the campground is and see how many people are camped here and see if that new area they pushed in has got campers in it now too. Not a bad view to wake up to in the morning. Kind of nice to have a little fire spit area here. I guess they can still have fires. I know this Friday they're quitting the fires up through the Okanagan, but we have had a lot of moisture lately, but now we're into this dry spell. So I'm sure the campfire bands will be coming on like gangbusters and by this next weekend Well, that answers that question. This is the area they cleaned out, and uh, no, nope. <laughs> not for camping. They just cleared it out. Oh well, still a beautiful day for a walk along the beach before it gets too hot.
You know, we live in a pretty special place around here. This is like, you know, 10 minutes from my house to come down and walk along a beach like this. You have to learn to appreciate these things. You know, life's too short not to take this type of stuff in. Yeah, I'll go down a little farther down the trail here. Have a look, see what we can see. That'd be good. Beautiful. Well, this one's pretty impressive. Well, I wonder if there's an entrance. <laughs> this thing is massive. And here's the entrance. Okay, we're going in. <laughs> Come on, let's have a look. Oh yeah, this is huge. This will work. Not bad. I say it's about uh, 10 by 16 or so. Good job, guys. Ow! Ow! Oh well, got my hat on. Good job, guys. That's fantastic. Oh! Yeah. For a young guy. All right. That really is a lot of driftwood to make this place. I see another one just down the beach here. Not as impressive, but we'll go have a look. Let me get out of here. There we go. Yeah, this one's definitely a lot smaller and it's seen better days. But uh, you get the general idea what they were doing here. Still a nice view though. stick. Now this is as far as the public is supposed to go. We're in First Nations land here coming up. And yeah, they have a little warning sign here. So respect that. You can walk along the beach if you really want to and walk all the way down the sandwich and spit, but it's best to do it at low tide so you stay below the high tide mark. I see there are some people down there on the beach. Oh well, look at this. It might just be time to start heading back. What time is it now? It's 9.30 and it's getting really, really warm. I'm gonna take the inland route back for a little while there's a pretty good chance you might see a bunny along here <laughs> they like to hang out back here a little farther away from the beach looks like we uh, got a bird watcher coming down in front of us here got the binoculars out he was looking at something morning Anything interesting? 
Oh, there is sort of cedar wax wings. Oh, the wax, yeah. Yeah, wax yeah. wings, morning doves, usual gang. The, the same, the same yeah. group. Yeah, it's nice to see them though. Yeah. There's some flickers up here right now. Yeah, yeah. I saw, or, yeah, I see them up top. Cool. Enjoy your walk. Morning. Morning. Hot dog. Yes. You know, if you're going to visit Victoria or uh, you live in Victoria, haven't been here for a while, or maybe you've forgotten about Island View Beach, yeah, you should really come down. Pretty hard to beat. Lots of parking, easy access. Yeah. Pack a lunch, come on down. Lots of picnic tables around. Bring some uh, cool pop or some water and really enjoy your day. Don't forget your sunscreen. Well, do we go back to the water or do we keep going this way? Uh, I think we'll go back to the water. Well, they've got the washrooms down here also in a couple spots. So we'll have a look down here. Huh, nice truck. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Check out the birds. Uh, everything. Yeah. <laughs> this is the second parking lot that's past the camping area. So there's two huge park, well actually three big parking lots down here along the beach here. I don't think I've ever been here where you can't get a parking spot. So that makes it easy. Yeah, we'll just have a quick walk through the tenting area here. See how many people are here. Now these ones have all been reserved, so they'll be filling up later. I saw a lot of people leaving this morning when I was driving in, but this is for like uh, tent trailers and oh, small RVs and these sites back here. And I haven't seen a vacant one yet, so it's pretty busy. No. These are some real nice sites in here, very shady. Though. If you're tenting them when it's hot out, that's where you want to be in there. <laughs> and these ones are all reserved. Oh, what's this one? Vacant, available. Huh. That's different. <laughs> nice and shady in this area. I see uh, someone's camping out of their smart car up here. Huh. Imagine they didn't bring too much stuff with them. You missed it. A bunny just ran across the road and went into the bramble here. Well, I guess that'll be it. I better start heading back. Oh, it's nice and cool once you get in here. Get back to the car. Well, there you go. That answers that question. I'm kind of surprised that nobody's claimed the gazebo yet today. Oh, it's still a little early. What time is it now? I end up talking to some campers for a little while. Oh, uh, let's see, it's uh, 10 o'clock now. So I've been here just, well, for an hour and a half or so. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Another beautiful day on the Vancouver Island. Another beautiful beach. Met some really nice people, saw some really cute dogs, and uh, once again it's time to go home. So stay safe and get out there and explore these places. They're here to be explored. Bye for now.